We'll now take a look at the digestive organs. First thing you'll do is feel for the ribs, which are located generally at the point of the uh, pecs, the pectoralis muscles. And um, we're going to find just below the ribs is where we're looking. We're going to make an incision right there, a very shallow one. And then we'll use the scissors to finish up cutting down towards the legs. Once I've accomplished that, I'm going to make two lateral cuts so that I can fold open these chest muscles and so that it will give me access to the digestive organs. If done correctly, you should have cut just below the diaphragm. And if I look up into the chest cavity, I can see that diaphragm. So I did a good job with that. The digestive organs are of the rat are very similar to those of humans, with one major exception. So let's go through here, starting at the top. If you have made your cut correctly, you should have um, cut just below the diaphragm that separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. The first organ that you'll see, and probably the largest one, is the liver. The liver of the rat has multiple lobes and may have small blue dots on it from the uh, blood in it. Below the stomach, typically, uh, or below the liver, typically on the right side, is the stomach. The stomach is uh, a little bit smaller than you might expect, and uh, you can see it right here. This is the stomach. Covering the stomach is a cottage cheese-like tissue that is the pancreas. The pancreas secretes digestive enzymes into the stomach. Connected to the pancreas and very, very near to the stomach is a banana-shaped organ right here. This is the spleen. Um, so the stomach, pancreas, and spleen should all be located underneath of the liver. The majority of the digestive cavity is filled with the intestines. And uh, all of this here, you can see, are the intestines, and uh, both large and small. The small intestines are named small not because of their length, but of because of their diameter. The small intestines are, lo are very long, but have a very small diameter. The large intestines, in comparison, are very short, but have a much larger diameter. To explore the intestines a little bit further, I recommend that you very slowly and carefully um, grab a hold of them, and you will um, observe that they are connected by a very thin membrane. And this membrane consists of a lot of blood vessels. Um, you can see some right there. Those blood vessels both nourish the intestines with blood and receive nutrients from the food that is being digested. If you very carefully take your fingers and break that membrane and those blood vessels, you'll be able to unravel the intestines to see the relative lengths of the large and the small. I've done that already, and you can see here how long the small intestines are, which is pretty impressive considering the small size of the rat. All of this is the small intestine. Now my um, end broke here. This would have been connected at the stomach. Connected at the other end is the one organ that rats have that humans do not. And this is called the cecum. The cecum looks a lot like the stomach and is frequently identified as the stomach. However, it is a connector between the large and the small intestine. Humans 
uh, have a sort of uh, version of this organ. However, in our bodies, it's called the appendix, and it's much, much smaller. The cecum is found in most herbivores and is a location where cellulose is broken down by bacteria. So one end of the cecum is the small intestine, right here. The other end is the large intestine, which you can see down here. The large intestine is much shorter, as I've said, but is much greater in diameter. And we can see the large intestine extending down from the cecum and also includes the, uh, the colon and, and the rectum as it exits the rat's body. That's the end of the digestive system. So let's just recap one more time. Starting at the top here, we have the liver, multi-lobed organ. Below the liver is the stomach, right here. The stomach has on top of it the pancreas, which is a tissue more than an organ. Connected to the pancreas and the stomach is the spleen, which is a banana-shaped organ, right there. And then we have the small intestines, the cecum, and the large intestine. So that's it for digestive system.